Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Seek and Destroy. And today we are going to react to another DC uh, product, a DC animated uh, movie, though, this time. Not a Lois and Clark show like we did last time or Superman and Lois. Uh, but this, uh, you know, I said I want to get more DC stuff on this channel uh, through Seek and Destroy. But uh, luckily, my friend Alex came uh, and said, hey, why don't we change it? Because we were going to do a Thor show focusing on the Jason Aaron run of Thor. And, uh, and Alex was like, you know what, you know, I like that run, you don't like that run too much, or like you're, you have mixed feelings about it, which I do. I like it, and, I, and there's some things I don't like about it. Um, but he was like, uh, you know, let's do something different, something that we'll both have fun doing. So he was like, well, remember just recently on episode 100 of uh, the Seek and Destroy show, just a couple episodes ago, we did a commentary for the Batman and Robin movie. And Alex was like, dude, I had such a blast recording that commentary with you. Why don't we do that for all the DC animated movies? And I said, that is awesome. So starting, I think, next week, every Thursday night, we're going to record an episode uh, where we just watch one of the movies on HBO Max and record our commentary for it. And we won't show any footage of the movie when our commentary tracks go up. They'll just be released as podcasts. And it'll probably just be like a single image throughout the whole one hour, 20 minute video. Um, but it's just meant to be listened to while you're watching the movie. So we won't have any of the footage up on our episodes, just so you know, because obviously I don't want to, it's illegal to do that <laughs> for the most part. And I see people who do that and they do it on their Patreon shows and they charge people and they actually show footage of the stuff that they don't own. Um, and it's like, yeah, okay. It's one thing to do a trailer reaction. It's another thing to sit and react to an entire movie and have that footage playing while you're reacting to it. That's uh, that's very not cool. <laughs> so uh, so we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna provide commentary tracks, just audio. Um, so hopefully you guys will enjoy those. So today, uh, you know, I was on Instagram a minute ago. I posted a picture of uh, the new Deathstroke action figure I got from the McFarland toy line. And our friend AF Chris commented and said, dude, this figure's awesome. Also, have you checked out the new trailer for Justice Society? World War II. And I was like, no, I haven't. What's going on? Did that dropped already? And he's like, yes, go check it out. It's amazing. So here we are. So I have it pulled up. If you want to watch it, it's exclusively through IGN at the moment anyway. So I'll put a link to the IGN uh, you know, trailer down below so you can check it out there without me talking over it. But without further ado, I, I'm excited to see this. A, a Justice Society set in World War II story with Flash and everything. I'm very excited. So without further ado, again, I said it twice. Let's get into it. They've With taken the control of right. most of Europe and Russia. Oh. Merciful, have yep. an invasion. That's not all. So the Mr. animation style is I take it it's a little similar to the, idea comes in. Let the me Superman the movie that came out recently. DC's original superhero team, Wonder Woman, Hawkman, whoa, Hour Man! We said we would end this war. Uh, Canary and Too many people Oh, have that's died. great. We can stop this. To utilize every meta human we can. Whoa. Oh, the speed force looks really cool. There, Woman. Oh, I'm from the future. Well, he's wearing red. Uh, oh, impossible. What? Are you ready to end this war? I thought you'd never ask. Then, welcome to the team. He's from the future. Wait, 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 what? This goes haywire. Blame the new guy. Whoa, Turns out the Nazis holy. Are launching a surprise attack. Then we stopped them. Oh, wow. Two flashes. That's great. Oh, Hawkman looks so cool. And Canary, Wonder Woman, Flash. Big Air Flash. Whoa. Just Society, World War II. Oh, kid, you ain't seen cool. nothing yet. An hour, man. That is cool. So this, wow. Okay, I have a lot of theories now. This looks like it's in the same animation of that Superman Man of Tomorrow movie that came out recently, which was really great. I really enjoyed it. Um, and is this now, if we remember correctly, at the end of the new 52 animated universe that they ended with, it was called Justly Dark Apocalypse War, Flash went back in time to reset the DC timeline. Is this that Flash doing that? Uh, I'd be That'd be really interesting to see if he went back to... A point in time where he's like all right we're gonna reset the dc universe and do things differently and he ends up back in this time period um and then works alongside jay garrick um and hawkman and our man and uh and wonder woman and canary and stuff uh that's pretty great and the fact that they're making canary a world war ii hero um which is i mean pretty standard i think she was in the original justice society books too so um so that's but you know no green arrow there at least not that we've seen 
So I'm I'm really intrigued actually. This is that possible? Is this them bridging together the two animated universes with uh, with Flash running away at the end of one movie, showing up in this one, and this being the new timeline that ripples all the way forward to Superman: Man of Tomorrow? Like that's pretty awesome. And I I, I like because uh, I saw him in his Flash, and I was like, oh wow, they gave Jay Garrick like the the flash costume but when i uh, like like the modern flash costume but then just now i'm like oh wait what it's two flashes um that's pretty great and i love how jay's like uh, well it's not out of the realm of possibility that i that someone with my powers could travel through time um so i'm oh, i'm really intrigued now like i'm very very excited about this it, it, assuming my theory is at least a little true i mean even if it's not the case i'm sure i'll still like it for what it is but i hope i'm right i hope this is uh, Barry from the apocalypse war running back in time and this is the moment he ends up in that resets the future um, I would really love that uh, that would be really cool and that would also be cool to see um, you know if they build towards a Justice League movie in these new animated movies that you see a scene where you know Barry is looking at a photo and he sees himself in World War II um, and he's and someone's like how old are you is that is that you in the picture and he's like yeah, like, I don't want to talk about it, you know, or something like that. Um, I don't know. This is cool. But I love that we're getting some Hourman and Hawkman uh, in there and Canary. Uh, I like seeing those characters being brought to, to animated life um, in any form. Uh, but also Wonder Woman leading the team. This is very much like what uh, DC was pushing for in the comic books. I think they're trying to, they, when they did their reset after Doomsday Clock and stuff, they're basically saying, like, yeah, Wonder Woman has was, like, the first DC Universe superhero um, like post uh, Doomsday Clock and uh, whatever the 5G thing they were going to do, like that was their plan. And maybe this was just like them kind of trying to go in sync with the, those stories from the, the, you know, the recent comics and stuff. Um, but uh, but either way, I mean, I love Diana, so I'm excited to see her lead this team. And even though it's not the full Justice Society, it's the first movie. So maybe they'll gain some members throughout the animated movie here and and they'll become a society um because i always like that uh, there was actually a couple versions of the comic where they had their own town um that they lived in and they were very much a society and there was like secret members throughout the town and stuff um and i always liked that but that was like in modern day so uh so yeah i like this this was cool af chris thanks for telling me about it um i really enjoyed this trailer but i want to know what you guys think if you don't want it you know the version where i'm talking over it Click the link down below to the IGN YouTube channel and you will watch the full trailer there yourself. And then come back here and tell me your thoughts. Are you excited for this? Are you not? Whatever it is, let me know down below and we'll continue the conversation down there. Thanks so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you in the future. Peace.